Hey, yo, I want to talk about, ugh. I have a friend that's into NFTs, or was at least, and I remember once asking him why. This was right on the cusp of when public perception turned against them. Just before the big crypto crash, celebrities were still endorsing them, and people had heard of them in general, but most didn't really know what they were. And then I watched this. Line Goes Up, The Problem with NFTs, a video by Dan Olson on his channel Folding Ideas, link in the description. And it got me curious, so I asked my friend, Oh, Jesus, is that the best picture we could... Ugh, whatever. So I asked him, what is it about NFTs that he likes? And he told me it makes him happy to know that he has something that's solely his. Something that no one else can claim. Something special. Something rare. Something unique. He wanted something that was his alone. And NFTs gave him an opportunity to experience that in a digital space. This is my JPEG of a monkey. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Except, the issue with NFTs is, no, it's not. That's a bored ape, probably the most well-known NFT. Enough so that, even though an NFT isn't actually the image itself, but the receipt or the proof of purchase for that image, I still bet that when you hear those three letters combined, something like this is probably what you picture. And you know, not a list of blockchain transactions. Let me know in the comments if I was right. Now, somebody paid for this NFT, and this one, Someone has a digital receipt saying they own it. This board ape is Jimmy Fallon's, something he tried to shill on his show. What a dick. But I'm able to show you those here because they're not real. They're digital images. You can right click save and then download them to your computer. They're never just yours, not even legally. I am well within my rights to display these butt ugly monkeys and use them in this video. So how exactly are they rare? There might be thousands of JPEG files out there which are just a copy of each other. Doesn't that defeat the point? Doesn't that make them pointless? I mean, they're not like Magic the Gathering cards, for instance. That's something you can literally hold in your hand. Even if it's just a reprint of a common card, hell, even if it's just a land, which there are probably millions of at this point, it doesn't matter, it's still your card. This is the card that went into your tournament winning deck. This is the card that got scuffed when your best friend made you discard it. This is the card that still has your thumbprint on it from when you first pulled it from a booster. This is a physical Magic the Gathering card, and it doesn't matter how many times what the card represents gets reprinted, this card is yours. Rare. One of a kind. You could even mark it if you wanted to. Sign it. Draw a little doodle. Number it so that you know that it's yours. Card serialization is a concept which involves taking a card, in this instance a Magic the Gathering card, and drawing a number on it. From what I could find, the first time this happened in Magic was in 2021, with the Secret Lair bonus card, Viscera Seer. But the most famous example, the one that made headlines, is from the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth set. I'll let the first look for retailers post from Wizards.com explain, link in the description. This serialised version of the One Ring, which is a variant of the One Ring Mythic card from the main set, features a raised gold foil treatment applied to the frame, art, and text written in black speech. The serialization denotes that the card is 001-001, the only one of its kind available in the world, a true one of one. The one ring, serialized 001 of 001, can only be found in a single English language collector booster. Ah yes, collector boosters. This limited one of one card is for the collectors, to be collected you see. But was that the only serialised card in the set? No, if we go back to the article and look just above that section on the one ring, we find this. These ring cards can be found in both traditional foil and non-foil. The traditional foil version of these specialised soul rings will be serialised. There are 300 elven soul rings, 700 dwarven soul rings, and 900 human soul rings, as those most familiar with the stories may have guessed. The non-foil versions will not be serialised and there will be 3,000 Elven Soul Rings, 7,000 Dwarven Soul Rings, and 9,000 Human Soul Rings. Oh, just like the Ringverse said, 9,000 for mortal men doomed to die, and one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne. Hmm, fitting. So what's the point of the serial number? With a few exceptions like Viscerasia and the One Ring, the art isn't unique. There are nearly 10,000 cards with that Human Soul Ring art. The mechanics aren't unique. They're soul rings for fuck's sake, they get printed in every commander deck. So is it the number that's rare? The number that's collectible? I suppose they uniquely identify which card is which, but again, every magic card is unique, and you can achieve the same results by just holding one in your hand. 
with the finite number of printings of the card in your hand, that one is your one. It's the nature of them being physical objects. So what is the point of card serialization? There's an implication of rarity, scarcity or exclusivity, but is that really the case? 900 serialized soul rings versus 9,000 non-serialized ones? I imagine if there were as many as 9,000 serialized cards, they'd feel a little less special, right? Sort of defeating the point? And while we're here, I guess I want to ask the question, with all this implied rarity, what's the real cost of these serialized cards? Well, let's have a look. Let's crunch some numbers. We'll start with the cards that we've already discussed, and if there are any more of these ultra-rare and collectible serialized cards, then we'll move on from there. First up, it's the OG, Viscerosia. And, and actually, Scarlet, yeah, would you mind moving it over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then put a tally up so we can keep a count of how many serialized cards they've printed in total. Cool. The mirrored Viscerosia only had 100 printings. Thanks. I'm hoping doing it this way will give us an idea of how special we should feel if we get a card with a number on it. Okay, here we go. This is all of them. Mirrored Viscerosia, 100 printings. The One Ring, 1 printing. Elven Soul Ring, 300 printings. Dwarven Soul Ring, 700 printings. Human Soul Ring, 900 printings. Sheev and Dragon, 295 printings. Giant Growth, 295 printings. Lord of the Pit, 295 printings. Merfolk of the Pearly Trident, 295 printings. Swords to Plowshares, 295 printings. Jesus, 3,476 cards? I joked about them not feeling special if there were going to be 9,000 serialized cards, and I didn't realize we were going to... Wait. Hey, what does this say? There's more? Adaptive Automaton, 500 printings. Aether Flux Reservoir, 500 printings. Altar of Dementia, 500 printings. Ashnod's Altar, 500 printings. Astral Cornucopia, 500 printings. Black Blade Reforged, 500 printings. Bone Saw, 500 printings. Burnished Heart, 500 printings. Caged Sun, 500 printings. Chromatic Lantern, 500 printings. Chromatic Star, 500 printings. Cloud Key, 500 printings. So we just pipped 9,000 serialized cards. 9,476 cards in existence with a number printed on them to imply how rare they are. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm doing this in alphabetical order. We're at C. Defense Grid, 500 printings. Door to Nothingness, 500 printings. Elsewhere Flask, 500 printings. Foundry Inspector, 500 printings. Gilded Lotus, 500 printings. Goblin Charbelcher, 500 printings. Helm of the Host, 500 printings. Howling Mine, 500 printings. I do love this card, but all of this artwork looks the bloody same. If someone played one of these, I wouldn't be able to... Ugh, I don't have time. Ickle Wellspring, 500 printings. Inspiring Statuary, 500 printings. The place where the Hasbro executives make all their decisions about wizards, 500 printings. Jalem Tome, 500 printings. Journeyer's Kite, 500 printings. Keening Stone, 500 printings. Key to the City, 500 printings. Liquid Metal Coating, 500 printings. Lodestone Golem, 500 printings. Maze Mind Tome, 500 printings. Mesmeric Orb, 500 printings. Millstone, a 500 printings. Mind's Eye, 500 printings. Mishra's Bauble, 500 printings. And that leads us to 20,000 rare chase cards. And we are not done yet. Mox Amber, 500 printings. Mystic Forge, 500 printings. Ornithopter, 500 printings. Perilous Vault, 500 printings. Phyrexian Processor, 500 printings. Phyrexian Revoker, 500 printings. Platinum Angel, 500 printings. Precursor Golem, 500 printings. Pristine Talisman, 500 printings. Psychosis Crawler, 500 printings. Quicksilver Amulet, 500 printings. Quietus Spike? Qu Qu Quietus Spike? 500 printings. Ramos, Dragon Engine. Uh, Ramos? Ramus, Dragon Engine. Or Ramos, oh, I'm starting to doubt how these are pronounced. Rune Chanter's Pike, 500 printings. Scrap Trawler, 500 printings. Sculpting Steel, 500 printings. Self Assembler, 500 printings. Semblance Anvil, 500 printings. You know when you say something so much that it starts to just sort of lose meaning in your head? Dear Lord. Sigil of Valor, 500 printings. Soul Guide Lantern, 500 printings. Springleaf Drum, 500 printings. Staff of Domination, 500 printings. 
Sundering Titan, 500 printings. Swift Foot Boots, 500 printings. Sword of the Meek, 500 printings. Thorn of Amethyst, 500 printings. Unwinding Clock, 500 printings. Well of Lost Dreams, 500 printings. Worm Coil Engine, 500 printings. Jesus Wept, does a card that's one of 34,976 feel rare to you? And remember, the majority of these don't have exclusive artwork. Mechanically, most of them are reprints too, so it's just a number stamped on. And I wouldn't mind, but are some of these really that desirable? Are they that chase? I mean, how lucky or special are you really going to feel if you pick up one of these? Is anyone really going out of their way to pick up a serialised copy of, I don't know, Agar? Wait, that wasn't on the list. Is there more? Agar the Freezing Flame, 500 printings. Anna Fenza, Kindry Spirit, 500 printings. Arixmethes, Slumbering Isle, and I've never read that word out loud, I don't know how that's pronounced. Arixmethes, Slumbering Isle. A word I can't say, Slumbering Isle, 500 printings. Atraxa, Praetor's Voice, 500 printings. Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths, 500 printings. Aurelia, the War Leader, 500 printings. Ayara, First of Lochwain, 500 printings. Baral, Chief of Compliance, 500 printings. Brudiclad, Telcor Engineer, 500 printings. Captain Lannery Storm, 500 printings. Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, 500 printings. Dina Soul Steeper, 500 printings. Elish Norn, 500 printings. Elish Norn Grand Cenobite, 500 printings. Emery, Lurker of the Lock, 500 printings. Azuri, Claw of Progress, 500 printings. Fire Song and Sun Speaker, 500 printings. Fierja, Judge of Valor, 500 printings. Finn the Fangbearer, 500 printings. Gore Claw, Gore Claw, Terror of Quiz, Gore Claw, Terror of Calcis, <laughs> Gore Claw, Terror of Cl you know what, that was my fourth take, I'm keeping this one in. 500 printings. Grim Grim Corpseborn, 500 printings. I'm a professional. Gyruda, Doom of Depths, 500 printings. Hirobi, Death's Whale, 500 printings. Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty, 500 printings. Inga Rune Eyes, 500 printings. Jigantha, The Wellspring, 500 printings. Ginger Taxius, 500 printings. Ginger Taxius Core Augur, 500 printings. Judith the Scourge Diva, 500 printings. Jury, Master of the Review, 500 printings. Kihira the Orphan Guard, 500 printings. Kenrith the Returned King, 500 printings. Karuga the Macro Sage, 500 printings. Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, 500 printings. Quende Pride of Femoreth, 500 printings. Lafiel, the Bounteous Dawn, 500 printings. Lurus of the Dream Den, 500 printings. Lutri the Spell Chaser, 500 printings. Niv Mizzet Reborn, 500 printings. Obosh the Prey Piercer, 500 printings. Radha Coalition Warlord, 500 printings. Wrath Weatherlight Stalwart, 500 printings. Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, 500 printings. Renata Call to the Hunt, 500 printings. Rayav Master Smith, 500 printings. Rona Shieldred's Faithful, 500 printings. Cezanne Perverter of Truth, 500 printings. Sha'ana? <laughs> Sure, Anna? Sisse's Legacy, 500 printings. Shieldred, 500 printings. Shieldred Whispering One, 500 printings. Ah, oh, man. Sk Skithyrix, the Blight Dragon, 500 printings. Have you guys ever actually sat down and tried to say these names out loud? Squee the Immortal, 500 printings. Sram, Senior Edificer, 500 printings. Taigam, Ojitai Master, 500 printings. Tetsuku Umazawe, Fugitive, 500 printings. Taysa Karlov, R.I.P., 500 printings. Or, now, I've been told it's pronounced Talia and Thraben, but Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Timoret, Chosen from Death, 500 printings. Umori the Collector, 500 printings. Urabrask, 500 printings. Urabrask the Hidden, 500 printings. Valduk, Keeper of the Flame, 500 printings. Vorinclex, 500 printings. Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger, 500 printings. Yargul Glutton of Urbog, 500 printings. Yarok the Desecrated, 500 printings. Eudora, Grave Gardener, 500 printings. Yurian Sky Nomad, 500 printings. Zarda, Hedron Grinder, 500 printings. Zerda the Dawnwalker, 500 printings. Nearly 70,000 serialised cards in existence. There are so many of these. Are they meant to feel rare? It feels like that took forever. What was I even saying? 
Oh yeah, about the choice of cards they've picked to serialize and whether they're even worth it. I mean, like I said, is anyone actually going to go out of their way to pick up a serialized copy of... N no. No, you're joking me. Oh my god. There's more... Oh, these are the ones that I read about. These are the ones that were already hard to read, but then they slapped a serialization number on them, so it covered up the text. Fuck me. Ah, Anduril, Flame of the West, 100 printings. Aragorn, the Uniter, 100 printings. Arwen, Mortal Queen, 100 printings. Dawn of a New Age, 100 printings. Gandalf the White, 100 printings. Glamdring, 100 printings. Hugh the Entwood, 100 printings. Last March of the Ents, 100 printings. Mount Doom, 100 printings. Palantir of... Orthanac, 100 printings. Radagast the Brown, 100 printings. Saruman of Many Colours, 100 printings. Sauron the Dark Lord, 100 printings. Shadow of the Enemy, 100 printings. Spiteful Banditry, 100 printings. Storm of Saruman, 100 printings. The One Ring, 100 printings. The Water in the Water, 100 printings. Tom Bombadil, 100 printings. Witch King of Angamar, 100 printings. <sighs> There's more. Argonath, Pillars of the Kings, 100 printings. Bag End, 100 printings. Balin's Tomb, 100 printings. Barrow Downs, 100 printings. Bridge of Khazad Doom, 100 printings. Backleberry Ferry, 100 printings. Dolom Roth, 100 printings. Elasar the Elfstone, 100 printings. Fangorn Forest, 100 printings. Glittering Caves of Alagrond, 100 printings. Green Dragon Inn, <laughs> Green Dragon Inn, 100 printings. Helm's Deep, 100 printings. Hennef Anun, 100 printings. Herogrim, Sword of Rohan, 100 printings. Inn of the Prancing Pony, 100 printings. Isengard, Saruman's Fortress, 100 printings. Medulcell's Golden Halls of Eldoras, 100 printings. Can you tell I don't read Lord of the Rings? I don't know who Mina is, but here's her Morgul, 100 printings. Morgul Knife, 100 printings. Osglyph... Os... Os... Osgilith... Os... Osgilith... Osgiliath. 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 Fallen Capital. 100 printings. Paths of the Dead. 100 printings. Redhorn Pass. 100 printings. Ring of Barahir. 100 printings. Shards of Narsa. 100 printings. The Dead Marches. 100 printings. The Party Tree. 100 printings. Three Rings of the Elven Kings. 100 printings. Valley of Grogroff. 100 printings. Weathertop. 100 printings. White Tower of Ecthelion. 100 printings. Thank fuck. I thought we would never end. Just under 75,000 cards, and... The First Doctor, 501 printings. The Second Doctor, 502 printings. The Third Doctor, 503 printings. The Fourth Doctor, 504 printings. The Fifth Doctor, 505 printings. The Sixth Doctor, 506 printings. The Seventh Doctor, 507 printings. The Eighth Doctor, 508 printings. The Ninth Doctor, 509 printings. The Tenth Doctor, 510 printings. The Eleventh Doctor, 511 printings. The Twelfth Doctor, 512 printings. The Thirteenth Doctor, 513 printings. Uh, Arc Like Phoenix, 500 printings. Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice, 500 printings. Birds of Paradise, 500 printings. Blazing Archon, 500 printings. Blind Obedience, 500 printings. Blood Crypt, 500 printings. Bor Bor Igmos, Enraged, 500 printings. Bottled Cloister, 500 printings. Breeding Pool, 500 printings. Bruvac the Grand Delinquent, 500 printings. Cord of Calling, 500 printings. Chromatic Lantern, again, I guess we're reprinting serialized cards. Not that fucking special then. 500 printings. Cindervines, 500 printings. Cloudstone Curio, 500 printings. Copy Enchantment, 500 printings. Cryptgast, 500 printings. Cyclonic Rift, 500 printings. Dark Confidant, 500 printings. Death Right Shaman, 500 printings. Divine Visitation, 500 printings. Do you feel like you're going insane? Dreadbore, 500 printings. Ghostway, 500 printing. Godless Shrine, 500 printings. Golgari Grave Troll, 500 printings. Guardian Project, 500 printings. Hallowed Fountain, 500 printings. Hellkite Tyrant, 500 printings. Ill Hard the Raised Boar, 500 printings. Illusionist Braces, 500 printings. Infernal Tutor, 500 printings. Carlo of the Ghost Council, 500 printings. Everybody's favourite Goblin Daddy, 500 printings. Lavinia, Azorius Renegade, 500 printings. Lazav the Multifarious, 500 printings. Legion Warboss, 500 printings. Life from the Loam, 500 printings. Lord of the Void, 500 printings. Massacre Goal, 500 printings. Masters of Cruelties, 500 printings. Mindless Masses. Nope. Mind Leech, nope. Mind Leech Mass, 500 printings. Mizzix's Mastery, 500 printings. Niv Mizzix Pay Room, 500 printings. Overgrown Tomb, 500 printings. Pariah Shield, 500 printings. Prime Speaker Zigana, 500 printings. Protean Hulk, 500 printings. Rakdos, Lord of Riots, 500 printings. Sacred Foundry, 500 printings. Zavra, Queen of the Golgari, 500 printings. Seal of the Guild Pack, 500 printings. Spark Double, 500 printings.
Sphinx's Revelation, 500 printing, Steam Vents, 500 printing, Stitch in Time, 500 printing, Stomping Ground, 500 printing, Sword of the Pay Runes, 500 printings, Tajik Legion's Edge, 500 printings, Temple Garden, 500 printings, Taser, Oars of Scion, RIP, 500 printings, Tide Spout Tyrant, 500 printings, Tol Samir Wolf Blood, 500 printings, Udvara Hellkite, 500 printings, Void Slime, 500 printings, Watery Grave, 500 printings, Aurelia the Law Above, 250 printings, and then I won't spoil it, but we have at least one one confirmed card for the Fallout Commander sets, which is one of 500, and it has six more implied, which I think we can say with a degree of certainty are coming. So between all seven of them, I'm going to count them as being one of 3,500 each. And that's it, for real this time. So tell me, what's so fucking chase about these 272 cards? Christ each one of which is one of 117,317 cards. Does that feel rare to you? So let's look again at that human soul ring from the start of the video. Is it the artwork that's rare? Well, there are 10,000 cards featuring it. Is it the mechanic that's rare? It's a soul ring. There's probably millions of them. Is it the serialized number? There are nearly 120,000 cards that have that on them and counting. Any which way you cut it, they just aren't rare. Even the one of one, one ring, got a fucking serialized reprint. The serialized number printed on a card does not make them unique. The fact that the card is a physical object that you can hold in your hand and play with and then build memories around is what makes it unique. The serialized number doesn't reflect that they're one of a limited quantity. All of the cards are one of a limited quantity, they don't print them indefinitely. Again, they're only printing 9,000 of those human soul rings, so if you've got one, that's already one of a limited number. Watsy introduced serialized cards which are all reprints with reused art and then just stamped a number on them to imply scarcity, and then stuffed them into collector boosters to tempt you into spending more money on cards you probably already own. So what's the point of serialization? to manipulate the secondary market and trick you into spending more money without wizards having to put in any more effort. I asked at the beginning of the video what the cost of card serialization is. It's my respect. That's what these cards have cost. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Could be worse, I suppose. Imagine if they were mechanically unique. Yeesh. Thank you very much for watching this video and sticking to the end. Oh, how many times did I say the word printings? Thank you to my patrons whose names are on screen now, and I'd also like to thank my sponsor for this video, me and my Patreon page, where you can get your name credited on screen too. Check it out in the link in the description below. Hit the like button, leave a comment, install an ad block, and most importantly, subscribe and share this video with a friend. Hit the notification bell and do all those things the algorithm loves. If you agree or disagree with any of my points, or you want to see me do a video on another subject, let me know, and I will see you next time.